What's up fellow Steel Ringers and Paper Nation Slayers? Welcome to Glass Trigger's YouTube channel. I'm Jesse and today we've got a cool new product to try out. The True Ballistic Chronograph by FX Outdoors. This product is supposedly idiot proof, which is good because we've all got a little idiot in us. We'll be testing its ease of use, functionality, reliability, and perhaps most importantly, its accuracy. Lucky for you, I had a bunch of ammo sitting around, so we managed to chrono hundreds of rounds through it. We tested everything from pellet guns to high-powered rifles, and even my dog Layla, who is apparently so fast it couldn't even record her. Before you drop any money on this chronograph, there are a couple details you're going to want to know. So stick around while we hash it all out here. Before we get started, let's do a quick overview of what this chronograph actually is and some of its unique features. It comes with this protective case, a charging cord, stand, and chronograph. So what does it do? The True Ballistic Chronograph uses Doppler radar to detect projectiles and give you their velocity at different points in the air. It's the same thing you see being used at baseball games to record pitch velocity or by police to give me speeding tickets. This one is obviously tuned for some higher velocities, but it's the same idea. Price-wise, you'll find this retailing for about $1,000. So what's unique about this chronograph? One, it's Doppler radar. Most chronographs out there use different, less expensive techniques to record bullet velocities. If there's less expensive techniques, why use Doppler radar, you might ask? Because, two, ballistic coefficient calculation. Doppler radar can detect bullet velocities at distance. In this case, the True Ballistic Chronograph claims to be able to detect velocities out to 300 yards. Does it matter that it can do this? Well, besides being a really cool feature, it allows the chronograph to gather the necessary data to calculate your BC. This BC in turn allows you to calculate your bullet's trajectory. So you can do some really long range shooting or just be very confident in that mid range hunt. Three. It claims to be able to detect 400 to 4,000 feet per second velocities with the push of a button. This might not sound like a big deal, but if it's true, being able to do this without fiddling with settings or failing to register shots is something that would be unique in an affordable Doppler radar chronograph. There's a bunch more features that come with it, but these are the major things that really set it apart from its competitors. So how easy is this to use? Well, I've got two questions for you. Can you push a button? And can you look through a straw? If you answered yes to both these, then this chronograph is right for you. If you answered no to either, you might be my dog Layla. Use is simple. Look through the straw and aim it at your target. Push the on button, and once it is on, press it again. Congrats, the true ballistic chronograph is now working. FX Outdoors even went as far as to troll us by giving us a velocity range option in the menu with only one option to select. 400 to 4,000 feet per second. You literally can't even pick anything else. This isn't a tutorial, so I'm not going to go through the whole menu, but I can confidently say it all says what it does and does what it says. There's no tricks or gotchas in there. It just works. To start using it, you really don't even need to touch the menu. This was the easiest to operate chronograph I've ever touched. Functionality is where I felt there was an important detail missing from the manual. The chronograph claims to record velocities out to 300 yards, and it does do that. But I want to include an important caveat. If the chronograph loses tracking on the projectile, and I quote from FX customer service, it will calculate the velocities from the information it gathered from different distances and the BC. I discovered this by accident by leaving the 300 yard recording function active and shooting a 100 yard target. The chronograph still gave me a 300 yard velocity reading and it wasn't zero. So it does use Doppler radar to record to 300 yards and it works well, but if it loses that projectile, it will extrapolate. Personally, I would have preferred that it just leave those distances blank. Maybe that will be an option in future updates. Other features it includes are a ballistic coefficient calculator in G1, G7, and something I'm not familiar with, 
a RA4 drag model. It also includes Bluetooth and app compatibility. In terms of functionality, it's great and to the point, but another thing I felt was missing was the inability to cycle through shot strings. It'll record many shots and give you an average BC and velocity, which is really what we are after anyway. But if you wanna see shot to shot, you need to record them in real time yourself or use the app, which still only records five shot strings. Overall, it was a very minor issue, but something I think FX Outdoors could improve upon. When it comes to reliability and accuracy, this is where this product really shines. The True Ballistic Chronograph only missed about one in a hundred shots, and honestly, it was probably due to user error. It wasn't finicky at all, but if you didn't put the chronograph in at least the approximate right location, it could fail to read your velocity. I fired pellet guns, a 9mm pistol, 22LR, 223 Remington, 308 Winchester, 300 Winchester short magnum, and 22250 at velocities ranging to the mid 400s to over 4,000 feet per second. And it performed great. The only thing it struggled with was recording pellets out to distance. I don't shoot pellet guns much and only did so for testing, so I didn't deep dive this specific issue. But again, it very well just could have been user error. I also had concerns about using it with a muzzle brake. I tried not to place it directly next to the muzzle brake, but it performed flawlessly with 308 Winchester and 300 Winchester short magnum with muzzle brakes. I can't say it won't affect its longevity, but it worked great for me. For accuracy testing, I just matched it up against my Magneto Speed Chronograph. I fired 150 rounds through both, and the average velocity difference was 4 feet per second slower in the True Ballistic Chronograph. If we assume the Magneto Speed is 100% accurate, which it is not, that would have given our True Ballistic Chronograph a 99.5 to 99.9% .9 accuracy. I think it's also worth mentioning I had one shot that had a 20 feet per second difference. Why this is, I do not know. I reached out to FX Outdoors to see if they had an accuracy rating for their chronograph, and customer service told me they would reach out to the designers. As of now, I haven't received an answer back, but regardless, it seems up to standards. So final thoughts on the True Ballistic Chronograph. It's an awesome piece of gear. You'd be hard pressed to find something that works so easily and reliably. I'd equate it to the difficulty of making a bowl of cereal in the morning. And I know for myself, the easier a piece of gear is to use, the more likely I am to actually use it. It may have some minor tweaks that could be improved upon, such as the app, but I could see it becoming one of the top competitors in the shooting chronograph market, just as it is. It's a little pricier than some of the competitors, but I think it more than makes up for it in quality. That's all for today, but if you've got any questions or just want to chat, leave me a comment down below. I hope you enjoyed the video or learned something new. If you did, it would be a big help to me if you click that like and subscribe button. Have a good one out there, and may your groups be small.